What's up everybody, it's George the Realtor. I'm not really into paranormal stuff, but if you are, this week we're talking about haunted history in San Antonio, starting with the most talked about haunted place in San Antonio, the Alamo. The Alamo is one of the oldest buildings in Texas, and during its more than 300 years of existence, it's been used as many things, including burial grounds, a hospital, and the site of a famous bloody battle. When it was built in 1718, they called it the Mission San Antonio de Valero. It was built as a house for the Spanish priests who were here to fulfill their mission to convert natives to Christianity. During its time as a mission, the population of natives went from 328 at most all the way down to 12 due to various factors such as disease and battles with other natives. It's estimated that approximately 1,000 people had been buried there during that time. In 1793, when the mission was accomplished, they shut it down and left it abandoned, until 1803 when a military company from Mexico got stationed there. Some people believe this is where the Alamo gets its name from, because the locals called them the Alamo Company. I'll leave a link in the description or comments in case you want to read more about them. During the Texas Revolution in 1836, the Alamo was the site of a 13-day siege by the Spanish-Mexican army led by President General Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna. As many as 500 Mexican troops and all of about 200 Alamo defenders were killed, which only added to the number of people who had lost their life there. Not long after the Battle of the Alamo, the ghost stories began. Before Santa Ana was captured at the Battle of San Jacinto, he sent orders for the Alamo to be burnt to the ground. But the orders were not carried out because witnesses claimed they had seen ghosts from the battle moving up and down the route. When it was a jail, there was so much activity that the jail was forced to move to a different location because the guards refused to work the night shift. Reports of loud screams and cries would wake the occupants at night. According to legend, a blonde haired boy is one of the most frequently seen spirits at the Alamo. The kid was evacuated during the siege and though he lived, his parents are said to have died there and his ghost returns to the location where he last saw them. Skeletal remains have been found in and around Alamo Plaza throughout the years, with the latest being uncovered in 2019. There's no guarantee that you'll see anything paranormal, but you can visit the Alamo alone or with a tour guide. It's one of the most popular historic sites in the US. That's it for this video, don't forget to like and follow, and if you'd like to support these videos, please consider sharing with anyone that's interested in San Antonio, Texas, or history.